Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Factory Fiction. On today's episode, we are refinishing the taillights for the Flex RS. Stick around. guys so it's about uh 7 20 in the morning uh i just got home from work i work nights so um we're kind of getting to a point where the flex is getting ready to come home from paint so um a thing about that is i've had a bunch of time to redo the taillights and i just i got busy with a bunch of other stuff so i have a few days to redo the taillights i knew exactly what i wanted to do with them I just had never worked with it. So let me kind of show you what's going on here. Um, we got nightshade, um, the red nightshade, which obviously is not black, it's red. Um, but as all things uh, factory fiction, I wanted the taillights to look um, very OEM and factory looking. Um, so what we have here is my stock headlights or my stock taillights, which these actually aren't even um, my original tail lights. They, um, I actually got these from a subscriber, which is super cool. Um, it's one of my first interactions with um, one of my subscribers from the YouTube channel, um, and I greatly appreciate it. So let me kind of give you the breakdown. These are um, OEM uh, 2014 Ford Flex Limited tail lights, which has the full LED. Um, and that was the difference between the limited and the non-limited. The non-limited didn't have LED. They just have a uh, regular, like a halogen bulb in them. Um, so my old tail lights, I baked them open and I painted all the chrome inside. You can see all the chrome inside, um, black, which looked really good. Here's the problem though. So if you can see this gray edge on the lights, it's the whole light and it's not only the whole light but it's built into the lens so you have to do some kind of coating over the whole light to get rid of that now originally when i did my other lights and i painted the house the inner housings black sealed them back up um i basically took gloss black wrap and i wrapped wrapped that gray edge um, and so basically I traded this subscriber his OEM taillights for mine that were already baked open and painted black because I wanted to start fresh with a fresh set because what I'm doing is a red out. So where you can see um, that it's taped off is basically uh, where the reverse light is. Um, and that's the only spot that's not going to be red. So everything else I'm going to hit with the red. I got everything all prepped out. Um, I cleaned them really well. I hit them and sanded them down with 1000 grit um, wet sandpaper. So soaked the paper um, and rubbed them down. And then we taped off the reverse lights. Now this is probably my third attempt at taping off the reverse light. Just because I really, really, really wanted to make sure it was perfect. And I thought the time before this, they were good to go. And then I, the more I looked at them, and then uh, I got the nightshade, and I was like ready to spray them. I was like, it's not going to work. So um, I will go ahead and post a picture up of like the render so you kind of have an idea of what we're looking for. But I think this is going to work out great. Um, I, I really think I got everything good. Now, they look kind of funky in the corners, but that is red vinyl um, that I used for the corners because it was really hard to try to tape in a circle like in a rounded pattern for the corners. So I actually cut out on my vinyl cutter. Um, yeah, sorry. Um, they're actually little red vinyl squares. So I did all the corners first and then I matched the tape to the corners. So I think it's gonna look really, 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 really good. 
Um, I did my best to match the light line so where the reflector is, like having an equal distance. So I think they're gonna be great. I'm gonna go, as you can see where I taped off, I'm gonna try to cover up all that stupid gray. So even in the back, like see, gosh, the whole stupid lens. So I'm gonna hit all that with red, make sure it's super nice and seamless. Um, yeah, so that's what's going on. Stay with me. All right guys, so I got the nightshade ready. Um, I did have the heater on out here in the garage. It's getting cold here in Washington. Um, so I shut it off so you could hear me because it's kind of loud and it's honestly not keeping up. This, I have a really high ceiling, although the garage is small. Like it's a really high ceiling in here. So a lot of the heat escapes out of here. Um, so that's kind of the issue. So another issue I had, I did get a rattle can automotive clear. My one buddy, uh, follow him on IG, check him out. He's in the car club, he's in my crew. Um, his name is Kyle, his IG is K Otteson. Um, He's got a super dope bag WRX hatch. So go check him out, but he's done several uh, sets of VHT nightshade lights and he was like, don't do that, do not do that. Make sure you get a 2K uh, clear coat, like a true automotive clear in a rattle can. So I got on Amazon, it'll be here Wednesday. It's possible I might have to pick up the car on Tuesday also possible Wednesday, but if we miss Wednesday, I'll have to wait till next week, which could work out in my favor, but I want the car back as soon as possible. So obviously I'm gonna try to get these done. So what I'm gonna do right now is uh, nightshade instructions say 10 to 15 minutes in between coats and it's two to three coats. So I'm gonna go ahead and start laying the first coat down. Um, and then I'll check back in with you guys, let you know kind of how everything's going. Um, we'll probably have to continue the video on Wednesday when I get the clear coat and then show you the finished product. But I'll definitely keep you up to date until I'm done with the project for today and then keep you guys updated. Cool? See you in a minute. three coats on and they're looking really good so I think I'm gonna hit it with one more see where we're at because um, I know that I'm gonna clear coat them and I'll probably wet sand them again in between this and the clear coat so I want to be sure I'm I've built up enough base that I can wet sand it and not just totally take them down to nothing so round four here we go All right guys, so, so far so good. I'm really, really, really happy with the finish and the color, the clarity in the color. Um, super stoked. So I'm probably, I'm getting pretty close on the can. Um, so I'm probably just gonna go ahead and use the whole can. Um, that way I know I'm sure uh, if we wet sand, it's not gonna take too much material off, start to discolor it before we do the clear. Um, so I think that's the plan, but let me give you guys a little sneak peek of what's going on here. If you guys remember what they look like, it's, like I said, it's really covering up that gray really well. Like this whole lip was that gray. Um, gosh, they look really good. Really, really good. And honestly, the camera's not quite picking up uh, the true color. They're really like a really clear ruby red. And it's exactly, um, they look extremely OEM finish as far as a red tail light goes. Um, so I'm really, really, really excited. But uh, another 15, 20 minutes, couple more coats, I'll hit you guys back. I'll probably go ahead and Empty the can, so however many coats that takes, 
and then I'll get back with you guys, show you where we're at finished product wise as far as just the nightshade and then let you guys know where we're gonna go from there. See you in a few. All right guys, so lay down the last coat. Uh, they're still a little wet. Um, not sure, honestly, when exactly I should take off um, the masking tape. Um, I've had people tell me I should take it off when it's wet. I've had people say, wait till it's dry. So I'm kind of nervous about both, honestly. Um, sorry if it's loud, let me, let me turn the heater off here. Um, but, so I'm nervous about peeling it off while it's wet and touching something and putting fingerprints or some kind of something in the finish, okay? Two, I'm nervous about waiting until it's dry in case it doesn't want to break clean at the tape line and then screws up the finish. So, um, I mean, by the time you guys are seeing this, I'll have done whatever I'm gonna do. Um, but here's what it looks like. They look so good. And like I said, I was really skeptical um, with how these were gonna come out, but they look so good. Like I, like I'm so sick and impressed. So I hope my masking job was adequate and we didn't have any kind of like seep through um, on the edges. And I honestly tried not to like hit it right on those edges, try to go over and through on my strokes, which everything looks really clean. So I'm super happy. Um, Kept it to nice thin coats, didn't go too heavy. I don't have any runs visible that I can find. Um, so I'm really happy. So I'm gonna leave it right here for now. Um, let me catch up with you guys um, either later tonight or tomorrow. See when these are all completely dry, how they look, and then what's going on with the clear coat. See you guys in a minute. All right, hey guys, it's uh, it's now just after seven o'clock. Um, so the lights have been curing up for about six hours. Um, I just removed the masking tape, at least off the reverse light. I was really anxious to see how that was gonna peel up, how that was gonna look, how, how I feel like I set up uh, the tape lines and stuff like that. Um, so now I'm gonna let you guys see what they look like and I'm super impressed. So here we go. There we go. And like I told you guys earlier, the camera just doesn't really do the color justice. So hopefully once they go back on the car and um, all of that, you'll be able to tell a lot better, but they turned out great. Um, I'm really psyched. I know the reverse looks hazy still. It's because I, I wet sanded them and then taped it off because I knew I was going to have to wet sand the whole light. So I thought then I'll eliminate like the, you can barely feel a little like the line, but like I said, I'm going to wet sand it after they're fully, fully cured. Um, and then we'll clear coat everything. So then everything will be nice and shiny and uniform. And then we'll, you know, obviously, uh, do some rubbing compound and then buff them out. But yeah, that's, uh, that's where we're at so far. I'm really psyched with the product so far. It's my first time using a BHT nightshade of any kind for any project. Um, personally, the nightshade, the original nightshade with like the, the smoke, just not my style. It's a little dark for me. So, um, Really impressed with the red though. So yeah, um, let's go ahead and I'll fast forward to a few days from now when I get the clear coat and then we'll do that process and then you'll see the end result. So see you soon. Hey guys, so welcome back. It's about three days later. Um, so a couple what's happened in the last three days. Um, the lights are all cured up from the nightshade. Um, we ended up not going to pick up the car, which worked out great for me. Um, Eric had some other stuff going on, so he's got a couple more things to button up before we can go get it. But that gave me time to make sure the lights are complete. So 
We got our 2K clear coat here in the mail. I had to order this. It's like $22 a can. But it's true automotive clear coat in an aerosol can, which apparently is pretty hard to find. Um, so for this stuff. So we got this. Um, so basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you what they look like um, just after the nightshade, which honestly, like, you could probably rock them if, if uh, that was the style you're going for. They look really good. They're very glossy. Yeah, but that's not how we're going to do it. Um, so I'll show you what they look like. We're going to go ahead and uh, hit them with some wet sanding and then clean them up good and then put them back out in the garage and start the clear coat. So here's a, here's a little preview of what they look like. They're like, I still think the camera doesn't quite do it justice. I feel like the camera makes them uh, definitely look more um, maroon. They're definitely more of a ruby red. Um, but they look really good. So, um, yeah, I just kept the tape off on there because we're going to clear coat them anyway. So I thought, why do it? But I went edge to edge. If you're a flex owner, you know even all of this is that ugly gray. And, I mean, it's really nice and glossy you can see the reflection in there so anyway i'll set up the tripod for a time lapse here well i'll get to wet sand in and then we'll see you guys in the garage in a few So, uh, all done with wet sanding, what I did was I hit them quick with a thousand grit wet and then 1500 wet. Um, I just had a couple of spots that were a tiny bit raised down in this little lip edge. Um, they feel, uh, yeah, they feel good. Uh, can't feel uh, the reverse light edge at all. Um, so, that's all we were really looking to do. I didn't go around the edge. Um, with the wet sand because I didn't want that real fine edge to get sanded away. Um, but I think they look good. So I'm going to hit them with the heat gun, make sure I got all the water uh, dried up. Then I'm going to clean them quick with them isopropyl alcohol. And then we're going to get into the clear coat. So stay with me. Here we go. All right guys, so we got them all cleaned up. Uh, I'm gonna start getting into the clear coat process. I will probably time lapse this because I'm not sure how many coats we're gonna go and there's like a 15 minute window uh, dry time in between coats. So this will probably take me several hours. So cue that time lapse. Bah! Right, guys so, so here we are about 24 hours later after i laid down the clear coat on the tail lights and uh, let me go ahead and show you that's how they're looking so really 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 good um we're kind of on to finishing now i don't know if you can catch that but as you can see this beam of light there's definitely a little bit of orange peel in there um which i mean from what i understand is pretty pretty normal so um Basically the plan is now, I'm gonna get some uh, 3000 wet sandpaper. We're gonna give these a wet sand, get that orange peel out, and then we're gonna go ahead and polish them up and hopefully they'll be all done. So that's the plan. Cue the freaking time lapse. We'll see you in a few.
right, y'all, so I think I heard some exhaust. I'm 90% sure it's Will. He's supposed to be on his way over. I'll uh, point the camera out here, and we'll see. Uh, <laughs> Will's had quite the uh, the car switches uh, since we last saw him um, uh -uh, with his uh, Civic Si sedan, but I'll maybe let him tell you about that when he gets here. So here we go. Who's here? Trip back then, but I was too lazy. Oh, you're good, bro. <laughs> I was trying to get you to rev it up a little bit, bro. Mm. It's freaking. I mean, talking hot back in. Talking. Nah, you're good. Talking to the factory fiction fam here about uh about last time we saw you. <laughs> you had a red Civic Si sedan. So I thought I'd uh, I told them I would let you fill them in on what's what's <laughs> been going on with Will and your cars lately, bro. Well. As you can see, I got a 2012 Mini Cooper now uh, that is supposed to have an intake downpipe, straight piped, and a Manic Stage 2 tune <laughs> with a fat mount intercooler. <laughs> yup. <laughs> All right. So, so you no longer have the SI. What happened after the SI? Uh, I got a WRX that I put in a ditch and totaled. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> and then. Went to 16 different dealerships trying to find another ride. And then uh, stumbled upon this little gym. Which I'm super excited about, you guys, because you know we have a Mini already, so... It's all about that Mini gang, 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 gang. Will's is a lot lower than mine, though, so that <laughs> makes me super jealous. But... We'll get low soon enough. Anyway, back to Sandy, yeah! So I think I got them all wet sanded up. I came really close to burning through in a couple of spots. I don't think you'll really notice them. It's just on uh, kind of like the edge here. It's just a tiny bit lighter. Uh, so I'm going to be really careful. Uh, we do have the drill polisher and the polish that I ordered out here ready to go. Um, we're going to use chemical guys uh, V36 and V38. Um, just a kit that I ordered. I thought I just needed a needed to have some cutting compounds and some polishes on hand. So, thought this was a good opportunity. I also ordered a drill kit for the polisher. Um, maybe I will throw the link in the description. So if you guys want this stuff, I was a four pack of these for fifty, which was the best deal. And then it's like a thirty-one piece set for this for like fifteen or sixteen bucks on Amazon. So deals. Um, but yeah, so now we're gonna get into uh, trying to start to polish them and then hopefully we'll finish it up. All right guys, so a couple minutes in here, um, I actually went back in the house and grabbed uh, the V34, which is a little more aggressive and I think it worked out better. Um, I'm kind of scared to use the V32, which is called Extreme Compound. I'm scared I'm gonna burn more through. So I think just seeing the polish I got with um, the V34 so far, I'll kind of show you here. You can, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but I mean, from that, 
right? So like that. It's a pretty darn big, uh, big difference. So uh, the plan is we're gonna do both with the 34, both with the 36, both both with the 38. Um, and then we'll check back in with you. We'll unmask them, unveil them, and then the next time you see them, they will be on the flex. So give me a minute, check back in with you. guys so we got them all on masks we got them all unmasked and they're sitting here on the dining room table I'm gonna go ahead and show them to you guys like I said they're not a million percent perfect but they're very very nice and I'm, I'm really happy with how they came out for my first ever DIY nightshade clear coat light redo anything so all right cue the cinematic So there you have it, lights are all done. The next time you will see these bad boys it's when we go down to Eric's shop, pick up the Flex RS with the new paint job, throw the lights in, and drive her home. So stay tuned, as always, please hit that subscribe button, hit the little bell, give you notifications to get the new videos, and like, share with your people, support positivity in the car community. Build your car for you. We'll see you in the next one. Factory Fiction. We are Modified Culture. We out. Ah.